Yo, checking in. Thought I'd make two vids tonight. I uh, was jotting some stuff down earlier about what I'm thinking at the moment, so here it goes, vid two. Resilience, thinking about that. Obviously, yesterday, had my got my phone nicked, uh, put out loads of content on that, so recording off my laptop at the moment. Maybe, you know, not putting out as much content as I like, but still trying to deliver some value. Uh, and that really sums it up, resilience. Can you, can you do that when something completely unexpected happens, you just get thrown off the thrown off the boat, thrown off the track, so if you want to metaphorically put it, and you got to rebuild. Can you do that? Because if you can, you're going to be on the road to A-Town. And it's a skill. you got to build it up over time. And to be able to build it up, you've actually got to make mistakes. You've got to be put in tough situations or unexpected situations that throw you back. And then you've got to learn how to actually cruise through and uh, power through this stuff, just completely unfazed, just focusing on uh, the basics. So, you know, a big thing that I'm pushing right now is always focusing on the things that you want most rather than the things that you just want in the moment. It's an attention thing. We do it all the time with our attention. A lot of the time we, you know, long term, we think about the big things that we want to be achieving. And short term, we think about that little video on Facebook we want to watch, the YouTube vid, uh, all those things that just distract us a little bit from the things that we really do want long term. And then way down the line, the long game, you see that actually you haven't been able to achieve those big things because you've been focusing on what you want in the moment. And really, long term, it isn't always what you want. And being able to control that is huge. And if you can do it, you're going to be on the road to A-Town. And that's a skill as well, developing that. So resilience is really key. It's basically, on the one part, about bouncing back. But secondly, it's also about putting a positive spin on the bad thing that happened or the thing that set you back. So I've been thinking about a whole new content series that I can do around you know, <laughs> maybe getting my phone nicked or something along those lines. And could I do a different format? You know, I could get a new phone, different phone. It'll be a lot cheaper, obviously, because I'm a bit light on cash at the moment because I got my phone nicked. Uh, <laughs> but... I can, you know, I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to, I'm going to put a positive spill on it. I'm going to make it happen. And you can do exactly the same with your exams. I, mean, I had plenty of times where I lost notes. I didn't listen to stuff properly in class. Like that was my own doing. Um, just unfortunate little things that happen the whole time. And, and people don't turn them into positives. They just see them as a negative And then that's it. Game over. But if you can turn it into a little positive thing, then you can see it as a challenge and you can build your whole routine and your power sessions and everything around that. And that's a whole new learning and building experience that you've got as a reference point that you can then look back on, you know, three, four, five years down the line again, playing the long game. And you can see that that, that stuff's valuable. And if, if you can do that, spin it. You're a spin doctor. That's what you want to do. Just always spin things in your favor, in your favor. You're just taking it in. How can I make this A-Town material? Boom. Punch it out. There we go. Cruising. That's it. Just keep doing that over and over again, time and again. And before you know it, those things you want most, you'll start seeing them get ticked off the list. And it's fun doing it. It's fun playing the long game. You, It's a slow burn. It's a slow, uh, steady sense of enjoyment versus these really short, quick hits, lots of ups and downs. And then essentially... Uh, sort of beneath the surface level down and a little bit of disappointment and frustration maybe with not actually being able to do what you want to do long term and just always doing those little short term things that yeah they feel okay they feel good I know exactly what you mean like I do it well I do it the whole time I'm always trying to uh, refine and and not do that and drag my way my attention or sorry control my attention in the way I want to long term but it's a difficult one and that's why I think being able to control, control your attention right now when everything's trying to grab it, I'm learning it in the advertising job I'm doing right now as well, is, is crucial. If you can do that, then you can do pretty much anything because the moment you focus on something properly, uh, like I did or I decided to do with my exams, uh, I'm not, not particularly intelligent, didn't read loads of books when I was young, I was doing all the normal things, 
FIFA, COD, outside playing footy every weekend, not really paying attention in lessons massively, uh, getting told off, getting sent out, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the moment you make that decision, the moment you switch it up and you just say, I'm going to stick to this routine, I'm going to stick to these things that are the, the, the tried and true, and then anything that comes my way that's going to try and throw me off that, I'm just going to power through it turn it into something that favours me and gives me an advantage or I can just use for something positive, you're unstoppable. It's just, it's going to happen. That's the message. Be resilient and you're going to make it happen. The exam coach way.